What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar show for Gone by Rosé. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below what other songs by Blackpink or Rosé that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Gone on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep the song as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to 6th fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing that you want to know to play Gone on guitar is the structure of this song. We're going to start with a verse. Then you go to pre-chorus, then chorus, then we'll just have verse, pre-chorus, and then one last chorus to take us out of the song. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into Gone is the six chords that you need to play this song. The first one is G. The next one is G over B. The next one is C. The next one is A minor. The next one is D minor. And the last one is F. I know a beginner way to play that F chord, as well as chord charts for all the other chords in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Gone. Guys, Gone is a new song from Rosé of Blackpink, and I just did a tutorial for her other new song, On the Ground, a few days ago, and got a ton of requests to teach this one as well. So I'm super stoked to share this one with you guys. It's pretty beginner friendly, but it has some really cool techniques that beginners might not know yet, but is a good kind of stepping stone into some new stuff. So the first thing we're going to take a look at for Gone is what we're playing for our verses, because that's the first thing that we hear in the song. For our verses, we have what looks like a little bit of a complicated chord progression, strum pattern, picking progression situation, but I promise it's actually a lot easier than it looks. We're going to break this down chord by chord, note by note. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is what we're playing for our chord progression for our verses. For our verses, our chord progression is going to be C, G over B, A minor, F, and then back to G over B. And you'll notice that some of those chords have stars next to them. And the reason for that is because the chords that have stars next to them will be played for a half measure or half as long as all of the non-starred chords. Now, whenever we get into our strum pattern here in just a minute, that'll make a lot more sense if you've never played with half measure chords before. All it means is that we're playing with those chords for half as long as the other ones. So with that in mind, let's take a look at our strum pattern. For all of the non-starred chords, so we'll start with a C because that's our first non-starred chord and our first chord, we're gonna play down, up, with a slap right after that up strum, twice for each one of those chords. If you've never done slapping before, it literally is exactly what it sounds like. You're just gonna take your strumming hand here, and after you've done the strum where that X is, you just slap it down, just like that. And it's just gonna give this kind of, it's gonna mute the chord after you've done that strum, and it's also gonna give this little percussive like sound. So for each non-starred chord, we're gonna do that strum pattern twice. So down, up, slap, down, up, slap, and then for all of our starred chords, so our first starred chord here is that G over B, the second chord, we're gonna do that one time. So down, up, slap, and then we're on to the next chord from there. So again, starting over from the beginning here, because we're gonna go over that little picking pattern there in just a second too. We're gonna go to the C chord first. We'll go down, up, slap, down, up, slap, G over B, down, up, slap. And then we have this little picking pattern here. Now, this little picking pattern is easier than it sounds. And it is a little bit different than what's being played in the actual song because this is a beginner friendly version of playing this, but it will also match up perfectly with what's being played in the song. So with that in mind, what we're doing for this picking pattern, all it is, is we're gonna start with an open G string and we're gonna hammer that onto second. So then we'll play an open G, then a second on D, then an open D. It's so closer to full speed. That's still only about half speed, actually closer to full speed. Just about like that, and then on to the next chord. The next chord is the A minor. This one is a non-starred chord, so this one will get two times through this strum pattern. So down, up, slap, down, up, slap. And then we go to that F. Again, I will have a beginner way to play this F if you need it in the pinned comment below. That is a starred chord, so that gets once through that strum pattern. For that one, we'll go down, up, slap. And then we go to that G over B, which is also a starred chord. So once through the strum pattern, down, up, slap. And that is it, guys. That is the chord progression, picking pattern, strum pattern situation that repeats through all of our verses. Nothing too crazy complicated here, but it is kind of a lot of moving parts. The biggest thing is just remembering what parts go where. So let's do a little guided walkthrough of that one more time before we do some playthroughs. Again, we'll start with our C chord. We're going to go down, up, slap, down, up, slap, G over B, down, up, slap, picking pattern. A minor, down, up, slap, down, up, slap, F, down, up, slap, G over B, down, up, slap. G 
just about like that. And that is going to repeat through all of our verses on Gone. Like I said, nothing too crazy. Just got to remember where everything goes. So with that in mind, guys, a couple of times through that chord progression, picking pattern, strum pattern situation, it's going to repeat through all of our verses on Gone. We'll look about like this without me talking. From there, guys, things get quite a bit easier. The only other thing that we need to know to play this song is what we're playing for our pre-choruses and our choruses. Like I said, this gets a little easier because all we have here is a chord progression and a strum pattern. No weird half measures, no picking here either. So our chord progression for our pre-choruses and our chorus is gonna be D minor, G, C, and A minor. And then for our strum pattern, we're going to have the same strum pattern that we just used for our verses. But again, we have no half measures here. So all of them get twice through that same down, up, slap strum pattern. So a little walkthrough of what that'll actually look like with our chord progressions about like this. We'll start with our D minor. We're going to go down, up, slap, 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 again, down, up, slap. Down, up, slap, 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 down, up, slap. And that repeats through all of our pre-choruses and our choruses. So really everything except for the bridge will be that. And that's it, guys. Pretty simple here. Nothing too crazy. If you've gotten this far with the verse being a little bit more complicated than this, you'll have no problem with these pre-choruses and chorus strum pattern and chord progression. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple of times through that chorus and pre-chorus chord progression and strum pattern will look about like this without me talking. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Gone on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 850 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what songs I'm working on next, hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. And lastly, guys, if you want to support the channel and get your name in the credits at the end of each new guitar tutorial, Tutorial, you can hit up my Patreon at patreon.com slash thegroovyguitardude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, like I said, I just taught Rosé's other new song on the ground a couple days ago.
decades ago, and I got so many requests for this song as soon as I taught that one. So I just knew I had to teach this song, and then when I first heard it, I was like, I totally get why you guys are requesting it, because it has beautiful guitar in it the whole way through. And it's really just guitar based. There's really not very much else instrumentally going on in this song. And so totally cool one to teach, and it's a lot of fun to play. Like I said, this is a very beginner-friendly version of this song. There's other ways that are a little bit more accurate to what's actually being played in the song, but this is about the most beginner-friendly way that I could come up with to play this song, and I'm always trying to direct my lessons towards beginners. Like I said, there's nothing too crazy complicated in here other than that F chord. Again, I love a beginner way to play that in the pinned comment if you need it. And then really, like I said, just keeping up with where you're at in the verse is the main thing too that was a little tricky is just making sure that you got all the right stuff in all the right places because there are kind of a lot of moving parts. Other than that, guys, pretty simple chord progressions, super simple little picking pattern there in the verse as well, and then the strum pattern is super beginner friendly as well. Just a single up, single down, and then a slap after each down, uh, up strum. And then, uh, like I said, for all the non-starred chords, you repeat that twice. The full measure chords, you repeat it twice. For the half measure chords, you're just gonna play it once. So, like I said, Beautiful song, guys. Really stoked to teach this one and share it with y'all. Thank you so much for the recommendation on this one. I really am digging getting into some black pink stuff because um, I really haven't taught a lot of their stuff. I teach a lot of BTS on this channel, but I really haven't taught a lot of black pink, just a handful of songs. And so getting into some of Rose's stuff and also some black pink stuff feels pretty good because I get a lot of requests for it. So anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.